All right, welcome everyone. In this video, I want to quickly show you how to open up your My Open Math, your online homework assignments this semester, and how to submit your work in those assignments. So each week, we're going to post uh, a homework assignment that's going to open kind of in the previous week, and it's going to be due on a Sunday at 11.59 p.m. And so your first homework assignment is due Sunday, January 21st. Uh, and so the way that you can access the assignments are you can either click on um, the link that is posted in the corresponding week. So if I click on this link, it's going to open up that assignment, or you can go to the assignments tab in Canvas and scroll through the assignments over here. Um, so these assignments will open up as um, we progress through the material. The first assignment is not going to be available to you until our Canvas site um, becomes active, meaning that's the first date I, that I can start opening assignments in Canvas. So you can get into our Canvas site right now, um, but if you click on this homework assignment, um, you'll see something like this, that the assignment is locked until Sunday. Um, but on Sunday, once it's opened up, you'll have a view that looks like this. So when you click on the link, it might be uh, a little anticlimactic because you don't see anything um, I want the Canvas page to stay open while you're working on your My Open Math. So if I click on this button, it opens the My Open Math uh, website in a new tab. So I can still go back into Canvas if I want to. Um, I can still go into my YouTube videos if I want to. Um, but here's where I'm going to submit my work in My Open Math. Uh, and down below, you can see I have a teacher preview button if you're a student. Um, you're not going to see that. You'll see a button that says, you know, um, begin assignment or start the assignment or something like that. So uh, over here, you can see this assignment has 30 questions. You can see the topics covered and you can see the due date and time for that assignment. So I would click uh, resume or get going. And this is what my open math looks like. It is going to display one question at a time. And you can scroll through all of the various questions um, using this drop down menu over here. And so, as I mentioned in my kind of intro video, uh, please don't do all of these problems in one shot all at once. The idea is to break this up over time. So, maybe watch the first several videos, then try the questions out uh, on that topic. So, I roughly have laid out the question order in line with how I walk through the videos. Here we go. Okay, so here is a question and it's asking me to enter a matrix as an answer here. So what I would do is click on this button. So this happens to be question six on homework one. And it's asking me to submit a matrix in this case. So if I want to enter a matrix, notice here is a little matrix button in this tab over here. And then I could say, how large do I want my matrix to be? So maybe I want my matrix to have two rows and four columns, just like the one that's over here. Uh, so I can hit a two by three option. Um, this gives me a matrix that has two rows and three columns. If I want to add one additional column, then I can hit the plus column button. And I will just say, not all of the questions require you to enter a matrix, um, but it's good that I clicked on this one um, so that you can see how to enter matrix and some of the questions will. And then I would just enter the my answer by entering the various numbers here. Okay, maybe I'll get lucky and this is the right answer. Once you think you've entered your answer and you've got it correct, you would say, submit the question. And this is saying, nope, I did not get it right. I have this red X mark over here. You can see I have not earned any credit. This is telling me I still have two more tries on this question, and I still have four more similar questions to go. So um, just because I did not get this right on the first attempt doesn't mean I can't get credit. Maybe I meant to enter six here instead. So the idea here is if you mistype something, you'll have a chance to correct it. You can submit it again, and you won't lose any credit. But I missed on my second attempt, and now this tells me I have one more try left on this attempt. Uh, so maybe this should, I meant to be a positive for, let me see if that is right. 
And now it's telling me that I'm wrong. And you can click on this button over here to see the correct answer at this point. But you haven't earned any credit on this question. I've got zero out of one. And I've run out of submissions for this um, question. But let me say that this question has different versions. So I missed this version of the question. I can click this button and I can get another attempt. So now it gives me a different matrix. It's the same question and it's asking the same concept. So I got the first version wrong. I used three attempts on that first version, but now um, I have a new question that was generated. I'm gonna go to my matrix button. And again, if I wanna insert like a matrix with two rows that has four, five different columns. I can use these buttons over here. And then I start entering my values. Um, I don't want to enter letters over there. I can enter whatever I want in these um, boxes here. And when I'm done, I can hit submit the question. It's going to tell me that I'm wrong. And I have three attempts on this one. And you can see here, I have three more similar questions. So each time I get a version of the question, if you're kind of following along, I get three attempts on that version of the question. If I don't get it right, it'll tell me what the answer is, uh, but then I can still get credit for that question by saying, give me a similar question. And each time I generate a similar question, I get three attempts on that question. And altogether, um, you get um, a total of five versions for each question. So if you're keeping track of the math, um, you have three attempts on each version. You can generate five versions for a question. So that means altogether for each non-multiple choice question, you're gonna have 15 attempts to get it right. Whether you get it right on version one of the question attempt one, or whether you get it right on your third attempt on the very last version of this question, you will get full credit. Um, so my suggestion to you is if you really wanna get the most out of this assignment, uh, it's really, the goal is not to just get 100% on everything as fast as possible. That's gonna catch up to you on the exams. So there are students that get 100% on the homework assignments and don't do well on the exams. And that's because they're not using the homework assignment wisely. So what I mean by that is if you're working on these homework assignments, although you're entering your answers online, I would highly recommend that you're writing out your work very clearly on paper uh, as if you were submitting it to me on paper. And this is gonna help you when you go back to refer to these questions as you're studying for the exams. And moreover, when you do make mistakes and you're gonna make some mistakes, it's really important that you make a note to yourself in your work, I got this one wrong, and if possible, this was the mistake that I made, and then here was the next version of the question, and now I was able to do it correctly. So if you put the work in and you're learning from your mistakes, you can still get full credit on this assignment, um, but I wanna make it really clear that uh, I want you to be using this immediate feedback as, as a positive tool, um, but not as a, as a crutch for um, plowing through the homework and not letting the ideas kind of marinate in your head. So if you have some questions about, am I using my open math in the best possible way, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to Max or myself, and we're here to, to help. Um, and so each time you submit your questions, that gets recorded. Um, and your score gets updated. And when you think that you're done, um, you can click the done button and that will um, exit you out of the assignment. And then you can reopen it again later. And then once the assignment closes, you're gonna get all of the credit for all of the work that you do correctly. Again, whether that was on your first attempt or your very last attempt. Uh, and if you're kind of writing these out on paper or you're somebody that likes to have the work on paper, um, then this button over here will give you a print version of the assignment. I'm curious to see what that looks like. So when you click on this, it gives you the full assignment. Um, so that might be something you want to do or maybe not want to do. Um, 
And here's a little print button if you if you wanted to do um, that. And once you're done, um, we are going to hide. Uh, uh, <laughs> let me exit out of here um, by closing this window. And um, back here, we still have the original assignment open. So when you go to that print version, as I just saw, you actually can't submit your work in there. That's more if you want to print it out, have a nice PDF version. Um, but you would submit each answer to each question separately in my open math and just be sure you kind of scroll through the list. This will keep track of your progress. And you can see I got part of question one right. Um, if that's how you can keep up with your score on these assignments. Um, and when you're done, you would just click the done button um, and it gives you a summary of your assignment. And if you want to get started again, you would just click the resume button to start working on the assignment again. Uh, so hopefully you'll get the swing of things. But if you're someone that's a little iffy with technology, then I would highly encourage you to stop by my office or stop by Max's um, drop-in hours or just set up a Zoom time for us to walk through it with you together. I want to make sure that everybody is really comfortable. And sometimes it can be difficult when you're doing this online and you don't have somebody there with you as you're trying to submit things. So um, before you get too frustrated, hopefully you all figure this out. But if you have a little bit of trouble with it, um, just let us know and we want to help you with it. But that's the gist of my open math. Um, then next week, you'll have homework two, and you'll access all of the problems in homework two much the same way um, we did with this assignment. All right. Thanks, everyone.